All right. Uh, shalom. Of course, I uh, want to start off by giving all praise uh, unto Yahweh, uh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son. Um, I just real quick wanted to, uh, to give a couple faults, may I say, on um, a screenshot I took the other day of, um, you know, my, my guy, right, my main man, uh, mine of God, stopped by during a uh, video premiere. So I, you know, I engaged with him in the comment section. You know, it was, you know, the live chat. You know, so we just had a little discussion. Um, and one thing that he asked, because apparently in the video I made a statement about, um, I made a statement and said, follow the, you know, the, the laws of the scriptures, you know, to the best of your ability. So he asked a question and says, what verse does it say to follow the law, law to the best of your ability? All right, in quotation marks. And, um, you know, to answer that question is, um, as I told him, as you know, as you can see my response down there, I said, there is no verse, but we are under grace. And then I said, um, for my second response, I said, we can't fully follow the law today. Right. You know, certain, uh, you know, things in the law, in the scriptures, right, in the scriptures that we can't fully follow today. All right. So, you know, to the best of our, um, you know, the best of our ability we follow them today. Like, say, for an example, you know, the scriptures speak about them. Um, like, say, for example, Leviticus uh, 20 and 13, right? The scriptures speak against, you know, homosexuality, right? A homosexual is supposed to be put to death according to the Bible. But you can't go around doing that today. Because if you do, they're going to get your ass locked up. So you can't go around doing that today. So that's why we said, you know, to the best of your ability, you follow the scriptures. Because there's certain things written in the scriptures that we can't really do today, man. Okay, you know, you can, you know, as I said, to the best of your ability, you followed what the scriptures say, but you can't fully do it to the max capacity, right? You can't do it fully in, um, you know, today's world. You can't fully do it, All right? Which I would bring up the precepts, where, you know, I'm out and about right now, but, you know, I'm just giving some commentary over it, man. You know, you can't fully follow the law today, man. And second of all, mind of God, you yourself are not fully, fully uh, following the law. Okay, so I mean, like, say for an example, you know, he likes to talk about, um, you know, that whole thing about, uh, what is that, uh, uh, Job 9 and 24, right? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, and he uses that and says, well, see, that's talking about them. Um, you know, how they're making everybody, you know, wear face masks right now, which that's not what that's talking about. That's just parabolic talk. It doesn't have anything to uh, to do with what's going on today. But, you know, he, he believes it does. Which, hey, fair enough. I can see why one might believe that. But, you know, the point is, wait a second, mind of God. You said out of your own mouth, because they asked you a question. I asked you because you got on me about wearing masks and saying, oh, that's, you know, that's like so, you know, wrong to do. But wait a second. You admitted that you do it as well. Because they asked you, well, wait a second. The other day you were at, um, was it Chipotle, right? That you like to get their food there is what you said, right? So you were there in the video clip you showed the other day because you were recording the, uh, something on the door. Um, and so I asked you, well, wait a second, don't you have to wear a mask to go in there? And you said, yeah, I got to wear a mask to go in. So it's like, okay, so you're getting on me for wearing a mask when I go to the store, but yet you yourself admit that you have to wear a mask when you go to the store. So you see, you yourself are not following the law to the best of your ability by your own admission. So how can you get on me for doing the same thing that you're doing? And that goes into the scriptures because the scriptures speak about how can you cast out the beam that's in your brother's eye if you first don't pass out the moat that's in your own eye. Nearly paraphrasing the scripture, man. Or in other words, it's like how can you tell somebody to not do something if you yourself are doing the same thing? That's what you call hypocrisy. So, you know, there isn't, you know, very much to elaborate on here, okay? It's just, it's very simple, you know, to uh, to understand. Okay, we follow those the scriptures, right, the scriptures, to the best of our ability, right? We follow what the scriptures say to the best of the, you know, ability that we can. But today we can't fully follow everything in the scriptures, okay? And I, I'll bring up the example again. Is it in the law to kill homosexuals? That, it says that. It says that. It says that in the scriptures. 
And the Lord said, Thou shall. Which, what does that mean? It says, You must. That's what it means. So the Lord commanded that that must be done. But you can't do that today. Did you know that the scriptures say that an unbeliever is supposed to be put to death? That's in the book of, um, I believe, what is that? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. All right, whosoever does not believe in the Lord, they shall be put to death, whether they be small or great, whether they be a man or a woman. Go read it yourself. So that's in the law. But we can't do that today. You can't go kill, you know, the Muslim that lives down the street. You can't do that today. Because if you do, you're asking to go to jail. So, you know, and, and, you know, second of all as well, you know, it can't be skipped over that, you know, we're living in Babylon, right, which is, you know, America. And I know he lives down in Houston, Texas. Right, so he's here, right? He's here in Babylon, aka America. So, hey, you know, here you can't do that. All right, but the scriptures say that, right? So we got to teach what the, what the scriptures say. But with that being said, you know, we can't fully follow it today. And I'll bring up an example, man. You got um, what is that? Uh, First uh, Corinthians. Um, I'll bear with me a second. I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 12. It says, what? For all things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Right? All things are lawful in the scriptures to do, but we can't do all of those things today. That's why the text said that not all things are expedient. Right? Not all things are expedient to do in these times that we're in. Okay? So, and you know, that goes into the whole thing about, um, you know, which I was actually arguing just an hour ago with somebody somebody hit me up you know on my email and they were trying to tell me that you know we're, we're going off you know teaching that um you know a girl becomes a woman at 12 or 13 years old they said that we're going off on that and it's really you know not till around you know like 17 or something you know they're all kids well that's that's completely not true and he was saying that the bible teaches that's not that's not in the scriptures where, where the hell does it say that in the scriptures? And he see, he wasn't given any verses. He was just saying, well, my opinion. And he even admitted that in the in the uh, the email that it was his opinion. And of course, it, you know, obviously should be mentioned that the guy had a glow birth as his um, profile picture. So, you know, that shows you that cat really ain't deep. He ain't know too much. Um, But, you know, yeah, man, you know, even though, you know, we teach that according to the scriptures. I mean, the scriptures say what? That you can take a woman... You know, when she's 12 years old, I mean, it says that that is in the scriptures. It says that. And if you don't agree, well, you don't know the scriptures. But even though that is in the scriptures, you can't go out and do that today. That is in the scriptures, but you can't go out and do that today, because if you do, then Esau, right, this man is going to, you know, is going to get you, man, and throw you in prison. So, you know, with those couple of examples, man. You know, it becomes evident, man, that, you know, you know, even though all these things are written in the scriptures that we can do, it's not a wise thing to go out and do them today. It's very simple. That's why I'll bring up the verse again. Uh, first uh, Chronicles or no, uh, first Corinthians uh, six and twelve. Right. All things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. It's very simple to understand. Very simple. As I said, man, some of these cats just can't get it. Right. And that's OK, because, you know, um, the scriptures say. Um, I believe what is that? That's. Uh, I want to say Job chapter 12 and verse 16, the deceived and the deceiver are his right The deceived and the deceiver are of the Lord. Right. Because, you know, and that's a whole nother topic, man, because, you know, when you deal with, um, you know, as mind of God will call them, right, the spirits on the left hand side. Right, you know, dealing with the angels and the demons, those all come from the Lord. That's why, if you go to Job, the second chapter, um, Satan had to get the permission of the Lord in order to go tempt Job, right? Because Satan has to order, Satan has to um, go under the order of the Most High. He can't just go around the earth doing things that he wants. Now, he can't do that. You got to go by the Most High's will. Okay, that's why, you know, if anything negative or positive happens in the world, that's the will of the Most High. What is that? Amos chapter 3, verse 6. For if there is evil in the city, has the Lord not done it? Nearly paraphrasing the scripture. So, you know, we could go on for an hour on this subject, but, you know, pretty much, you know, we're going to keep it sweet and simple, right? Short and simple is how we'll keep it, right? You know, hey, you know, I'll, I'll end it off with that. You know, hope that was, uh, you know, edifying. Hope that, you know, cleared that question up, you know, because I know a couple of people have been asking that. 
you know, especially him, because he brought that up even when he was on there with um with Deacon Sakari, right? Or D Coon Sakari inside joke. Um, which I gotta call into one of those um we want smokes, right? Because Sakari's known for doing the we want smoke. You know, yeah, I gotta I gotta call into uh to that show. So uh you know, Lord willing the uh the next one I'll be able to call into that show. But anyway, uh with that being said, uh, all praise to you, Hawa Bashim Yashai. I'm gonna say shalom.